Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back. Today, we are kicking off my winter decorating series, as usual, over on our coffee bar. Now, I've already taken away all my Christmas decor, and so I've let my home rest for about a week, and right now, it looks so bare and dreary and drab, so it's time to warm and cozy up the space. This year, I'm going with a more neutral palette as I take my inspiration from what is right outside our window. So as I look outside, I'm seeing lots of browns, taupes, tans, creams, whites, blacks, and some greens as well. So I can't wait to just add that color palette throughout the home to just give it that cozy feel that I so love during the winter time. Now, if you are new, hi, my name is Amy, and welcome to Simply Our Home. Here on my channel, I do a decorating series for all the holidays and seasons where I take you from room to room and space to space and decorate those areas with you. So if you enjoy what you see today, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And for all my returning friends, if you're looking forward to the winter series, definitely give me a big thumbs up continue watching, and let's go ahead, head over into the kitchen and get started. I hope you enjoy. In our kitchen, we are lucky enough to have an eat-in kitchen area or breakfast nook. And this is where, tucked in the corner, I dedicated a space for our coffee bar and floating shelves. As far as for the rest of the space, we won't be decorating it today, but definitely keep an eye out for my winter kitchen clean and decorate. And that one will decorate this area together, adding a simple winter tablescape and wall art. As usual, after removing all of the Christmas decor, lingering behind is all of the glitter, pine needles, and flocking. So before decorating, let's go ahead and get this space nice and clean. Here, I'm using one of my favorite cleaners, especially for the kitchen, and that is 70% rubbing alcohol. All I do is spray down my surfaces, and not only will that keep things clean and shiny, it also disinfects them. Now, if you don't like the smell, don't worry. The alcohol smell dissipates very quickly, and you can also add a couple drops of an essential oil that you love to freshen up your space as well. Now for the fun part, let's start decorating and add some of those cozy neutral colors starting with the top shelf. Now I often get questions about our shelves and want a link for them, but unfortunately I can't link those because my dear hubby Scott made them for me. But remember, I will do my best to link all the rest of the decor that I use today down in the description box. Next, I wanna go in with a lamp to fill in this little bare area up there at the top. So I found this mini lamp a while back at Target, but I absolutely love it. It's small enough to fit in the space, and I just love that creamy base with the subtle pattern and striping to it, and I love that it's cream and not stark white. So I love it, but the fact is, we have no electrical outlet, and I definitely don't want a cord hanging down there. I don't think I could conceal that. And so what I did was just shoved the rest of the cord nice and neat back into the base. So that's all that is on the back here. And then I found this cool light bulb on Amazon. And I've been using this for a while, but I just absolutely love it. It comes with a remote, so you can turn it on with a remote. And it comes with 15, like a timer for 15, 30, one hour and four hours. So of a morning, I can just quickly click that on with a remote. And then we have some ambient lighting up there where we normally wouldn't be able to have any source of light. So again, it comes with this and all you're going to do is use the USB port 
and connect that right there at the bottom and then into an outlet, let it charge, and then you'll be able to have some lighting in areas that we wouldn't have been able to have them in the past. So let me get this all charged and then at the end of the video, I'll show you how pretty it really makes a arrangement once you have some ambient lighting. I love displaying my collection of white pitchers in the kitchen. I started with this pair but decided to switch it out a bit, going with more height variations so that I can add greenery in here a little bit later and also I felt that it fit the scale of the shelves a little bit better. So that's one tip that I have for you when decorating. Use similar pieces and groups, step back often to look at the arrangement as a whole and have fun displaying pieces that you love. During the winter, I still love to reuse some of the pine stems that I used for Christmas. These cedar real feel stems from Hobby Lobby are some of my favorites. I find it super important to continue to use some type of greenery, whether that be pine or real or realistic plants in place of your Christmas decorations to keep your space looking cozy throughout the winter months. So if your arrangement is looking a little bit dull and boring, make sure to have a greenery piece in there and it'll make all the difference. The cabinet for our coffee bar, which is from Wayfair, has two convenient drawers for storing all of our coffee pods. Now this was a super important feature for me since I didn't want our coffee pods and essentials to create a lot of visual clutter. Today I'll be restocking one of my favorite coffees, it's the McCafe Decaf Premium Roast. Now it is decaf and I try to limit myself only one caffeinated beverage a day. So I'm just going to quickly restock this and then we'll move on. But I'd love to know what your favorite coffee brand is or what's your favorite winter drink of choice. Next, I'm coming in with this black frame and this cute little saying. Actually, I found this on Google search. It was a pr free printable image. So I just printed it out on just normal paper, stuck it in a frame. And I think that looks so adorable. It says, baby, it's cold outside, warm up here. So I think it's very appropriate for here on our coffee bar. So that's a simple and easy way to get some pretty cheap and free art if you have a frame on hand. Just switch it out for all the holidays and seasons for a cute little accent. So my family and I have still been enjoying a cup of hot cocoa now and again from time to time, so I'm still going to keep that out on display, but I'm just going to switch out the scoop for a black ceramic one to match the little scooper that I have in the ground coffee container. You know me, I'm all about the little details. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm adding this white crock to complement all the other white decor pieces going on in this arrangement. Then I'm adding an assortment of wooden rolling pins and kitchen essentials. Because of the variation in sizes, I find it helpful to stuff the bottom of the crock with either old Christmas wrapping paper or like I'm doing here with some shopping bags to elevate and arrange the smaller items so they can still be used. Moving on to the bottom shelf, I'm keeping it very simple, covering that outlet and cord with serving tray from Walmart, and then I have an idea for using some baskets to contain and store some of our candy. Right now, all of our candy is stored, yes, in a Halloween container with our dog food, which makes absolutely no sense. So I'm going to sort through the candy, separating the chocolates into the smaller basket, and then for the larger basket, I thought the rest of the candy could go in that one. That way we have a lot more room for dog essentials and then our candy is contained and easily accessible as well. Now on to the last piece and also my last tip that I have for decorating for winter or really any season is to shop all of the clearance items that the stores are now displaying and rotate your existing art around your home. This piece from Kirkland's was a clearance find and has been displayed other places in our home. And for winter, I think it kind of resembles a snowflake in a subtle way. And I think it just fits the color palette and area perfectly. All right, sweet friends, that wraps up today's video. It's my first in many in my winter decorating series. I hope that you enjoyed it and got some ideas on how to decorate your homes this winter. Now, before we go, I always love to give you an encouraging word from the Bible. So let's go ahead and turn our Bibles to Psalm 20. I'll be reading that in verses four through five. May he give you the desires of your heart and make all your plans successful succeed. We will shout for joy when you are victorious and will lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. I just love that. It just makes me so happy and encouraged. So if you have any praise reports, definitely leave those down in the comments. I would love to rejoice with you. And if you're needing prayer or have a concern, also leave that down there so that I, as well as the rest of our friends in this community can be praying for you. Well, I hope that you did enjoy today's video and that I'll see you back for the rest of my winter decorating series. Remember, hit that thumbs up button on your way out and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, till next time, take care and God bless. Bye friends.